Hi guys, today I'm playing uh, Dark Paradigm, which is a first-person homebrew uh, zombie survival shooter game. First-person shooter zombie survival game. Um, it's by a team called Parking Lot Games, and they just uh, released it for uh, for people to play and try out. It's still kind of in early stages, uh, so there's a lot of kind of fixes and that's going to be happening to the game. It is uh, it's it's not uh, it's not kind of in the perfect final form yet. But um, I thought I would check it out, and actually I'm I'm pretty impressed just in terms of what these guys have been able to achieve. You know. This this is not some big publisher like you know Activision or something who've made this game. This is a uh, this is a small kind of guys who've done this on the side, um, and they've released this uh, this version free for anyone to go and download, which is awesome. Um, and there's a lot more that's kind of going to be polished in the game. They've uh, put on Reddit a list of things they're planning to do. So oh you know maybe I'll talk about kind of the game first. So it is a first person shooter, so it's the mechanics all work. As you'd expect, uh, in terms of other first-person shooters, aim uh, with the uh, with the left uh, left trigger, shoot with the right trigger. You've got enemies all around you. You use uh, circle to jump, and um, you can reload with uh, with square. You can also run when you press down, hold down down, and you can see the white bar at the top of the screen is. Uh, is your health uh, and as you're uh, killing these zombies there's pickups on the map as well you've got two guns you can use you can use the machine gun and you can use uh, use kind of a pistol handgun um, although to be honest I think at this point the pistol is pretty um, is pretty uh, it's just not as useful because the machine gun is uh, is just so much better to be using given it just has so many more bullets um, but it's it, you know as a kind of a first attempt as kind of a beta it's it's pretty pretty cool to, to try it out um, the controls generally feel good. Um, it does feel, I think it could be a little bit faster. Um, <clears throat> that's probably one bit of feedback I would, uh, I'd give to the team. Um, I'd also, I think one thing, another thing I'd like to see is a bit more kind of, uh, sound effects in terms of when zombies are near you. There were a lot of times where zombies were kind of right behind me and, you know, you only realize as your health is dwindling because, uh, because you can't hear them. So it's just kind of, uh, they just sort of creep up on you. Um, so, you know, maybe some sound effects or some, some like kind of, you know, grunting or something when, uh, when the zombies are near you. Like, so yeah, there must've been a zombie, uh, you know, behind me there. So, uh, you know, you, you wouldn't be able to hear any zombie kind of coming behind you or like right now I'm walking backwards. I don't know if I'm about to walk into a zombie because I can't kind of, uh, cause I can't hear sort of what they're doing. Uh, some of the animation, you know, probably needs a little work, like when you, when they're running and then you kind of uh, knock them down, they just sort of straight away appear on the ground. Uh, and they've already identified that there's some issues with, uh, with items where you can't actually pick up, uh, can't actually pick up the item. So, you know, like first aid, I can't actually, uh, I can't actually get it. But um, <clears throat> the guys have already identified this and they're going to be fixing it. So, you know, there seem like, like there's a lot of plans also in the works. Um, they uh, basically you can earn points and sort of money as you kill these zombies, and they're going to implement a store where you can uh, you can purchase new guns and sort of save your profile, um, and then that'll basically carry over so you can kind of uh, do uh, you know be able to do more damage to the zombies and kind of grow your high score. So very cool, and oh, and they're also going to add a horde mode to it as well. So lots of plans for what's going to happen to this in future. But I um, thought I would try this out and uh, let you guys check it out. Um, it'd be nice to see more maps, I guess, as well. But, um, you know, it's fine. See, actually, there, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't hear this guy. But I was walking straight into him because he doesn't make any sound. Um, but no, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it uh, so far in terms of this just being like a homebrew game. You know, I remember when, uh, when the Vita came out back in 2012, there were some rumors that um, there would be a Call of Duty Zombies on the Vita. Uh, and that never panned out, unfortunately. But um, it's this is the kind of game where you know this kind of mode, sort of this uh, horde mode survival kind of uh, first-person shooter is always a lot of fun. Um, and so yeah, really, uh, really glad to see these guys are working on this. Uh, you know, like I said, it's not perfect, but um, I'm very curious to see where they take it. Uh, and you know, this map they've got here, maybe they'll add more maps in future. But this map is actually pretty big. Um, so you've got it's kind of this big shipping container area. Uh, and it's a pretty pretty large map, so it's it's easy to kind of space out and run away from the zombies. Um, but uh, you know, it'd be nice maybe to see uh, see other modes if possible in future. So one thing they have implemented here, which is kind of cool, is photo mode. So you can actually go into photo mode, um, and 
it's it's not uh, it's not perfect right now like it's very very slow um, there should be a way to yeah you can move up you can move down you can move left and right I should be able to rotate um, I was able to do it before oh unlock rotation there we go that's it so you can rotate around which is really cool that they've uh, they've implemented this and then when you've got your your photo lined up you can hide the UI and do the little photo on the v on the Vita, so that's pretty cool. Uh, really, kind of unexpected as uh, to have a mode like that. So very, very cool, guys, that uh, you've enabled that. Um, so guys, if you do have a hacked Vita, you can go download this right now. It's on uh, on Reddit. Uh, you'll be able to find the link to this if you go to Reddit Vita Hacks, um, and so you can give this a go yourself and try it out. But um, you know, thank you to. Uh, to the guys who made this you know it's very it's awesome just to see uh people doing this kind of work on the vita it's it's definitely really appreciated so um guys that is dark paradigm uh go check it out if you have a hacked vita it's just another game to play and you can download it for free uh and look forward to seeing what these guys do next so guys if you have tried dark paradigm if you're planning to uh give it a go let me know and uh, leave a comment and as always thanks for watching